Hi, this is Aimee and this video is going to be about how to set up some uh, privacy settings in your Facebook account. It, and Facebook actually offers some privacy settings that uh, you can very easily control and will allow you to determine who can see your information in your profile and who cannot. It also allows you to divide the people that you accept into your Facebook into different groups so that you can apply those settings to different groups. For example, you may have a group um, that you consider friends and family and you may have more open settings for those folks where they can see your photos and your videos and your updates etc where you might have a list just an acquaintance list or maybe just business or professional list that uh, you limit what they can see on your profile so let's take a look and see once you, this is my Facebook account and once you are inside your Facebook account you're going to look across the top menu options here you're gonna go under settings and there are all kinds of different settings that you can apply here but we're going to focus on privacy settings and these are the ones that will allow you to limit those views the first thing you're gonna come across is your profile so when you click on this this is gonna allow you to determine who can see your profile and your profile is information such as um, your name, your address, um, your your business, what you do, or your hobbies, etc. So you have different options here, and um, uh, the first one that you see is your profile, and you'll see a drop-down menu that tells you uh, the different uh, options that you have for who can view your profile and who cannot. Now, everyone means that everybody, regardless of whether they have a Facebook account or not, can see your profile. So if they look you up through Facebook um, and they find you and they click on your picture or whatever you have, the image you have representing your profile, um, if you don't have that locked down, then they'll be able to see you and whatever you have on your personal profile, which is okay. You know, it just kind of depends on your preference. Uh, my networks and friends um, just means that only people that are uh, within your networks, when you set up your profile in Facebook, you have an option to determine what type of network you want to belong to. For example, if you live in Phoenix, Arizona, you might select that as a network. If you live um, in Connecticut or whatever, you can set that as a network. Or you can even uh, choose as a network a, a university that you attended or a high school that you attended. And, and whatever network you choose, that's what they mean by my network and friends. Okay, so anybody that belongs to that network automatically will be able to see your profile if you don't lock that down. The next option that you have as a profile security is to allow not just your friends, but whoever the friends of those friends are, which can get pretty extensive, um, but that's what friends of friends means, um, the friends of the people who are your friends already. And then you can also lock it down to only allow people that are your friends, people that you um, literally accepted uh, that the people that placed a request to be a friend of yours in Facebook and you said yes, those are friends, so uh, according to Facebook, okay? And the other option that you have, and this is where you can get some customization, is you can add some customization. For example, who can see your profile? You can put just everyone on Facebook, so whoever has an account on Facebook, you can say friends of friends and only friends, right? Or you can just say... Um, you know, none of my networks or all of my networks or some of my networks. And if you choose some of my networks, if you have more than one, then it'll allow you to pick which networks are allowed to see your profile or not. I uh, personally just only allow my profile to be seen by people who are my friends, according to, you know, people who have placed a request to become a friend and I've said yes to. So those are the only people who can see my full profile. Another option that you have to, of security is your basic information. And if you want to know what all of these mean, uh, what is your basic information, just click on this question mark here and it tells you exactly what they mean by basic, basic information, where your gender, your birthday, your hometown, etc. So all of these options have a question mark by it. And all of these options, we have the same drop down options here. The only difference is that when you go to customize, some of the options would allow you to exclude 
people specifically. So let's say, for example, that you want just your friends to see your basic information, but there's, I don't know, one person or two or three in there that you just like, well, I want them to be my friend because I want them to see my status update, but I don't necessarily want them to see my basic information. You can enter their name here as it is in Facebook. For example, I can put, I'll find just my husband in here. I can put CISO here. And if I say this and press OK, that means that um, only my friends can see my personal information except for CISO. So that's kind of how you customize some of these options. And you can do the same exact thing for every single area within Facebook that um, it allows you to customize, like your personal information, uh, which is um, information such as your hobbies and things like that, um, your status and links, and your status and links are whenever you go into Facebook and it says, what are you doing now? Those are your status updates, okay? If we go back over here really quick. Okay, what's on your mind? In Facebook, what's on your mind, that's what's considered a status update, and it posts on the news feed, and that's what they mean by um, status and links. So if you want to restrict who sees what your um, updates are, then you would go into your status and links and um, exclude that. And uh, I will show you in just a minute how to set up these this lists and apply people to them so that you can separate um, your contact list in Facebook as well. So you'll go through and for each category you'll be able to determine all of those um, setting options and um, you can even determine who can see photos that you've been tagged on. You can even block out who can see your videos or who can't. Um, you can even block who can see who your friends are. So I have it set up so that no one can see who my friends are. So if you went to my profile, unless people post it on my wall, you would not be able to just look at my friends list to see who I'm friends with. So, you know, that's just another option that you have. And then obviously you have the option to restrict your wall to determine who can post on your wall and who cannot. That's kind of um, how all this um, security settings work. Let me show you how you set up your lists really quick. If you go over to under friends option in your menu, towards the left hand side you, were, you will see a couple of sections and you will see an option here too uh, that's called lists and there's an option called create. This is where you will click on this and it will ask you to create a new list and you can call that whatever you want to. It just really depends on how you want to divide people and, um, and what you use Facebook for. I have a friends list, I have an acquaintance list, and I have an MLM list. And all three of those lists have different settings. All three of them have access to different areas of my Facebook profile. And um, you can do the same thing. So let's create a list. I'm going to call it a test list. Okay. And I'm going to you can actually go through and click, just keep checking the people that should belong to that list. I'm going to go ahead and click on create list. And as people request to be added to your Facebook account, uh, to your Facebook profile, Facebook will ask you which list you want to approve them into so that they automatically are restricted to whatever you decided to do with that list. Okay. Okay, looks like I did it twice, so I'll just delete one later. But uh, if you click on the test list, then you'll see the people that are actually added to that list. You can create your lists as many as you want to, but nothing really happens to the people in those lists or to those lists unless you make it happen in your settings. Okay, so your settings and the privacy settings that we went through a little bit earlier, it's what's going to determine what limitations those lists have. So just make sure that you go under settings and determine the privacy settings for all of your lists so that when you are adding people to your Facebook, you can automatically just assign them to those specific lists and the settings will automatically be applied to those folks. So that's kind of a really quick overview of how to apply the settings and uh, what you can do with Facebook. And uh, hopefully that helps you um, somewhat gain a little bit more control over who can see certain uh, parts of your par profile or not. So good luck and I'll talk to you soon.